The annual Army-Navy clash is a traditional contest top by none. Drawing worldwide attention and a national television audience, Philadelphia's Veterans Stadium is scene of one of college football's greatest pageants. More than just a game, it pits the pride of the services against one another. This was it, Army's second season, a battle that had been long anticipated and would be long remembered. An Army knew just what it would take to get Navy's GOAT. Defense. A determined denying defense that would put the Navy offense in dry dock. Key to success in this contest, as well as the entire season, was the kicking game of Keith Walker and Bit Rambush, the top punter in the East. Whether punting for better than a 40-yard average or nailing the coffin corner, Rambush constantly kept opponents' offenses in the hole. Navy was no exception. Offensively, Army would tally on its first possession. Mike Mayweather broke wide for 45 yards. Navy toughened and the call went out to Bit Rambush. Again handling the field goal kicking responsibilities for the injured Keith Walker, Rambush blasted home a 40-yard attempt for the early advantage. Still, the day would really belong to the defense. Led by linebackers Troy Lingley and Ray Griffiths all year, the efforts of the entire team on this day almost totally turned back every naval barrage. With only 89 first-half yards and a game total of but 191, the midshipman's O had definitely rammed into an inspired Army contingent. With pride on the line, the cadets responded. Offensively, Torrey Crawford was leading a solid attack, anchored by the running of Mayweather, Barnett, and Andy Peters. While Mike Merriweather was rolling up 119 yards, Crawford was finishing an outstanding career that placed him fifth in rushing in the Army record books, along with a number 10 rating in career passing and fourth place listing on the total offense record. Had he not fallen to mid-season injury, his Army and national ranking would surely have been even more impressive. In the fourth quarter, Peterson's score boosted the Army advantage. Time was running out for Navy as the closest they could get was a 30-yard field goal. When the cadets got the ball back, they did what the Army does best, gain ground. A masterful 13-play scoring drive kept them in control the rest of the way. For the Black Knights, it was the second consecutive win over their arch rivals. And for the fifth year in a row under coach Jim Young, Army had finished among the top five rushing offenses in the nation. The 1987 Army football program employed the best ideals of cadet training on the field as well as off. The team's winning attitude remained steadfast despite the obstacles that had confronted them. The men of 87 not only performed, but excelled in the areas of effort, pride, and leadership. Each man grew to learn the meaning of total commitment to a team mission.